What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube with Battles of Legend Light's Revenge. One of the hottest, newest products out right now. So let's get right into it. Normally, I don't open any new product because it's so mass-produced and it's usually sitting on shelves for clearance of $30 or $40 a box. But I think this box is a little different. I think there's value in this stuff. A lot of reprints. Minerva, the biggest one. 24 packs a box. Four ultras per pack. One secret per pack. So let's go ahead and see what we get in this. Looking for that Minerva. Shouldn't be too hard to get. I was going to make an investing video on it, but uh, I feel like let's just talk investing in this set specifically during the opening, right? And my thoughts on this set both now and long term. So right now I got this box at about uh, about $58 a box. Not too bad. I feel like there's definitely some value for $58 a box. All right, let's focus in. White Moray. Like this new ultra rare with the uh, hollow on the attribute and the uh, level. All right. Oh, spell book, magician of prophecy, which of the black forest. That's an awesome uh, older card. I love how they say GY instead of graveyard. And a time maiden secret. But yeah, basically this set, uh, tremendous set, tremendous value. The demand of this set is the highest demand I've seen in current Yu-Gi-Oh! in many years, actually. So that's why I had to pick several boxes of this up. It's definitely selling out everywhere. Um, if Konami does not reprint this set, it should be strong in the secondary market. Galaxy Soldier, that's good. Very good. Solar Recharge. Oh, that's another good one. Uh, wow, the Odd Eyes Venom Dragon. That just looks so nice and secret. And as you can see here, the Pendulum um, is also secret foil as well. Pretty sweet. But yeah, um, I think the that Konami missed um, something in this set in terms of Minerva. I was hoping they would have super short printed Minerva, just like Crush Card Virus. All right, let's see. And reason, another Witch of the Black Forest. And here's a double evolution pill, nice. And reason being is because even if they short printed Minerva, right, the Shonen Jump prize card, this set would still sell like hotcakes because there's still so much other quality content in this set. All right, let's see. Oh, Anti-Spell Fragrance, good card. Oh, nice, Sage with Eyes of Blue. That's a really nice new one, a new reprint. It was like a $30 card or so. But, yes, they could have made this set and made Minerva, like, one in, like, two or three cases. Minerva would be probably at least a $100 card, um, probably two to 300 if they made it, like, one in three cases, because the demand for Minerva would just be through the roof. And, um, I don't know why this pack is just not opening, but that's what they could have done. Still would have sold out, sold like crazy. It would have provided a chase card, um, instead of everyone just buying Minervas for like $20. People would actually open this stuff for another one of these. And the Phantom Knights of Break Sword. Secret. But yeah, uh, it would have provided a chase card, a high dollar card out of the gate, kind of like premium gold, or I should say gold series in 2008, when Crush Card was the big Shonen Jump prize card reprinted for the first time, high demand card, and they also included great cards like Jinzo and, and uh, other tremendous cards in that set, and um, you know, that would have been the best strategy, because people would buy that stuff up. The secondary market would explode with Minervas hitting hundreds of dollars. Yes, people will be pissed off because they're going to have to spend, but it would provide a chase card in this box, which the box is great. Um, the set is great, but there's real n no chase cards, so you could just buy the singles for 
you know, Minerva for $20. You can buy Sage with Eyes of Blue for 8 bucks, 7 bucks, 6 bucks. Oh, here's an interesting one. It should get unbanned. Evil Swarm, Extinction Knight. Giant Rex. MX Saber. This was a nice reprint. But yeah, I, I feel like if they just reprinted everything under the standard ratio, kept Minerva as like a super short print, the, this set would sell like, still sell like hotcakes. People would actually open it more because of a uh, Minerva reprint. Oh, Denko Saka. Seca. And that's super nice as a secret. Nice artwork on it. And, I mean, yeah, it, it would provide value as well as long-term um, growth. I mean, boxes would probably be hitting on the resale market, you know, 100-plus first week in. Instead, they're just sitting now at uh, Gladiator Beast. Nice. Three Witch of the Black Forests, to place it already. Instead, yeah, they'd be sitting at, right now they're at about $72 on the resale market. But um, reason being is because, well, you can pick up every good card from the set for $20 or less. Good for collector Vanity's Fiend, that's nice. Spellbook. And another Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, cool. But yeah, uh, I, I think, well, it's a great set. Do I think it has value long-term, this set? Yes, I do. Um, because I just think the demand for this will be so high, and if Konami does not reprint it, uh, there simply won't be enough, another Vanity's Fiend. Simply won't be a lot of this stuff on the market, and there is our Minerva. Awesome. The Exalted Light Swarm. Take a look at that. Beautiful card in secret. Could we get two Minervas in this box? We'll have to see. So there we go. We did pull the Minerva, the card of the box for sure. Halfway through, we have another stack. Let's see. But yeah, um, if there is no reprint of the set, the box will definitely hold value. No question about it. If there is a reprint of the set, if Konami decides to do... Uh, another print run, then then we're talking kind of rough, but we'll see. Yugi's Legendary decks, uh, that's because that was a hot seller, was reprinted, the first one. Also the Evolution, or not the Evolution, the Reloaded starter decks, oh, Galaxy Soldiers, nice. Solar Recharge. Artifact Sanctum, nice, very nice. But yes, uh, the Reloaded Starter Decks are also have been reprinted, so not good with all these reprints of sets because destroys completely the value. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. White or, or Dolphin, excuse me. But Konami, what are you doing? Great set, but... You know, I'm always critical. If you would have just super short printed Minerva, you would make a whole lot of money. MX Saber, again, nice. Looking for that Psy Frame Lord Omega as well. But yeah, I mean, I could see this set still hitting. Uh, if it does sell out and if it's not reprinted, could see the set certainly one of the most iconic recent sets in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Into the Void, great card. Let's see what else we got here. Odd Eyes Synchron. Okay. Alright, could we hit two Minervas in one box? That would be badass. Another Into the Void, that's really good. Vision Hero. Oh, two Minervas in one box. There you go. All right, so uh, so much for short print, right? <laughs> two Minervas in one box. Wow. All right. Oh, man. And I still complain that it's not short printed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, for one box, I will definitely, definitely take it. 
Again, thanks guys for oh Judgment Dragon, nice. Another one of these. Getting a lot of doubles. Well, let's see. Pack refuses to open. Oh, that's such a cool artwork. The Archfiend Zombie Skull. Yeah, that's sick. Another Destiny Hero, Dusktopia. I like how these new foils pop. We got four packs to go. Battles of Legend. But yeah, that's my take on this. Uh, I apologize if no one's really interested, but I figured I'd throw in some of my advice on this product. Buy it, if you can, at about 65 to 70. 70 would be still a great buy, in my opinion. Anything more than 70, you get yourself into a little dangerous territory, but I feel like this product is one of the few. That's really a nice, that's really a, uh, a winner from the demand standpoint. One of the few that people will be ripping like crazy. So yes. All right, These, this pack refuses to open. Could it be a play set of Minerva's? All right, you know what? Yeah, we have these for a reason. Did I just cut the card? No, all right. But definitely a great set, I mean. Just, I was hoping Minerva would be super short print, like the Gold Series Crush card. Giant Rex is a cool card too. Gladiator Beast. I mean, I remember back in 08, Crush Card from GLD1 Gold Series was about a $300 card. So, that's wild. And of course, it sold like hotcakes. It sold out real quick. Tough to get. Tough to get now, even. So, the long term. Oh, nice. Number 11, big eye. The long term value was really. Silent Frame Lord Omega. Boom! There it is. That is awesome. So, what a box, actually. Let's go to the last pack. Could we get a Minerva number three in one box? We will have to see. Let's focus in. Right. Number 11, Big Eye. Jurassic Impact. And a Time Maiden. Alright, so that'll do it. Psy Frame Lord Omega is epic. So let's go ahead and go right through the Supers, or not the Supers, the Ultras and the Secrets. Alright, look at this nice stack of Ultras. Go right through them. Giant Rex. Such a cool card. Alright. Archfiend Zombie Skull. Some Destiny Heroes. Some Judgment Dragons. Into the Voids. Anti Spell Fragrance. Liking this. Galaxy Soldiers. That's nice. Man, these fiends. Spellbooks, Witch of the Black Forest, Evil Swarm Extinction Knights, Evil Swarm Extinction Knights, There's a lot of good stuff in this, Witch of the Black Forest, Galaxy Soldiers, Witch of the Black Forest, alright, and The Secrets, that Psy Frame Lord Omega is sweet. Minerva. MX Saber. Minerva. MX Saber. Denku. Uh, Sage with the Eyes of Blue. And that will do it. Alright. That's it. Solid opening. Two Minervas in one box. So that will do it. Thank you guys for watching.